Welcome back, I'm Pastor Doug. This is Rowan. Tonight we're reading from 2 Kings chapter 14, beginning in verse 23. Welcome to a moment of joy. I invite you to read along with us. 2 Kings is about a third of the way into the Bible. It comes after 1 Kings and before 1 Chronicles. And we're reading from the end of chapter 14. There we go. In the 15th year of Amaziah, son of Joash, king of Judah, Jeroboam, son of Je- Jehoash, king of Israel, became king in Samaria, and he reigned 41 years. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord and did not turn away from any of the sins of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, which he had caused Israel to commit. He was the one who restored the boundaries of Israel from Lebo Hamath to the Dead Sea in accordance with the word of the Lord, the God of Israel, spoken through his servant Jonah, son of Amittai, the prophet from Gath Hefer. The Lord had seen how bitterly everyone in Israel, whether slave or free, was suffering. There was no one to help them. And since the Lord had not said he would blot out the name of Israel from under heaven, he saved them by the hand of Jeroboam, son of Jehoash. As for the other events of Jeroboam's reign and all he did, and his military achievements, including how he recovered for Israel Damascus and Hamath, which had belonged to Judah, are they not written in the books of the annals of the king of Israel? Jeroboam rested with his ancestors, the kings of Israel, and Zechariah, his son, succeeded him as king. Any questions? Now we know why they always say Jeroboam, son of Nebat, because there was more than one Jeroboam. Um, that's a good, okay, I'm just not sure on the time, because I haven't talked to, uh, the, the people, but yeah, we can, you can talk about it if you want, I'll let you, you announce it, and we'll go with the time that we're planning, I just, I haven't got permission to start at that time yet, 8.30, so I'm starting this Sunday, not this Sunday, next, next Sunday. Sunday, I thought, I thought you said it was this Sunday, no, because you said last Sunday that it was next uh, Sunday, it was a week away, it's the first Sunday in July, first Sunday in July, sure, um, we will be having a second service early in the morning at 8.30 going multi-site baby yes we will be at (laughs) Bacchus Mill from 8.30 to 9.30 I guess yeah yeah and then we'll be at the old school for 10 a regular service if if not a few minutes late depends if he gets chatting if anybody's there well no the service will start at 10 I just might not be there because your mother's still going to start the service at 10. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, the regular service will be at 10. And then, um, but we're going to do uh, an outreach service at Bacchus Mill starting and then we're 8.30 hoping, Sunday morning. We're so hoping for 8.30. Yeah. We're just going to have to confirm the time with the park. So, um, we're not sure if there's going to be somebody there to unlock the door in time for us. So, okay. Other than that, um... If you have any questions, put them in the comments. We'll answer them tomorrow. And uh, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you give us. We thank you for your word. We pray that we learn from it. And we pray that unlike either of the Jeroboams, that we seek you. We seek you, Lord. As we pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow evening at 8.30 for another moment of joy. Goodbye.